Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at polynomials. This is the beginning of chapter 11, where we're going to be using a lot of these different uh, terms that we're going to be referring to here in this video. We're actually going to break this lesson for Lesson 11.1 up into three pieces. I'm going to spend this first part just talking about some of these terms. We'll look at an example um, involving these terms. And then in the second video, we're going to look at how to graph a polynomial on your calculator. And then the third part of the video, the third part of this lesson, we will focus on how to find the degree and leading coefficient of um, a polynomial. So let's first, let's look at, like I said, some of these terms. We would say that this first polynomial is a polynomial in the uh, variable x, because x is a variable that's being used. But some important terms to understand is the degree of a polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is the largest exponent of the variable. So in this case here, we would say that this polynomial has a degree of 4 because as we look at those variables, the largest exponent is a 4. Now each of those pieces that are separated by a plus or minus sign, we should call each of those pieces terms. So for this problem, we would see that there's a total of five individual terms. And it's important to recognize that a term is separated by a plus or minus. Now the standard form is when the terms are written in descending order, meaning that the exponents for each variable starts with the largest exponent going on down from there. So this is in descending order because we have an exponent of 4, then an exponent of 3, then 2, then 1, and this would be an exponent of 0. So that's in descending order, so this would be in standard form. Now the numbers that are attached to the variables, we call those coefficients. So here we would have a total of th uh, four coefficients, a negative 0 0.001, a positive 0 0.01, a positive 0 0.06, and a negative 0.564 would be our coefficients. Now we have a special coefficient. The special coefficient would be the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the coefficient, the number, that's attached to the variable with the largest exponent. So wherever we get the degree from, so here we get our degree is four, the leading coefficient then would be negative 0 0.001. Now the number not attached to any variables, the number on the end here, they call that the constant. So let's look at an example where they ask us to find some of those pieces. So when we look at this one, it says list all the coefficients of x squared minus 16x to the fourth plus, uh, plus 3x squared plus 96. Now it's important to always look at, like I have here on the right, it's important to always look to see if you can combine like terms before we start anything. So when I look at this problem, and it's, I see that I have negative 16x to the fourth. There are no other x to the fourths. So we're actually going to start by writing this in standard form. So let's actually do this in part C. So in standard form, we would start with negative 16x to the fourth. And then I would see that these x squareds are like terms, so I can combine those together. So that's a 1x squared and a plus 3x squared. So it would be plus 4x squared. And then we would have plus 96. So this would be the problem in standard form. Now the coefficients, in this case, to answer the question in part A, the coefficients would be negative 16, 4, and the 96, that would be a constant. Technically, that 96 would be attached to x to the 0 power. So that particular coefficient is also called the constant. And then it says, what are the degree and leading coefficients? Well, we can see here from the um, polynomial that the largest exponent is 4. We can also see that down here. So the, deg the degree would be 4. And the leading coefficient call that the LC, the leading coefficient would be the coefficient attached to the variable with the degree. So this would be negative 16. So that's that. So that is how we would refer to some of those different terms. Now we do have some special names for some different polynomials. So it's important to know these different names. And they're all based on the degree of the polynomial. So when the degree is 1, we would say that that is a linear. That polynomial would be linear. When the degree is 2, we would say that is a quadratic. We've talked about both of those before. When the degree is 3, it's a cubic. 
When the degree is 4, it's a quartic polynomial. And when the degree is 5, it's a quintic polynomial. And these are the right or just examples of situations where we would have those. So we're actually going to end the video there. In the next video, we're going to look at how we would graph a polynomial using your TI Inspire, your graphing calculator. So why don't you go ahead and get that out and go on to that next video now.